Hello, Daniel Boone students and faculty. I'm Harvey Hull. And I'm Susan Hull. We are the parents of Angela Hull and proud graduates of Daniel Boone High School. I want to thank you in advance for watching this video and for considering donating at Angie's Memorial Blood Drive on December 19th at the high school. It's hard to believe it's been 20 years since we lost Angie. In the summer of 2003, we found out that the life can change in a, in a heartbeat. Um, and, and you never know who may need to receive blood donations. <clears throat> you see, Angie was a perfectly healthy 17 year old about to start her senior year at Daniel Boone when she woke up August 2nd with swollen glands. And that was the beginning of a, a long struggle for her. You see, Angie had contracted a very rare form of leukemia, which was also very aggressive. Uh, unfor unfortunately, 26 days later, we lost her to that disease. She used over 75 units of blood products during that time, and it became very apparent that uh, blood was an important part of keeping her alive. Dur during that uh, 26 day period that uh, sh she struggled to survive. Uh, there were times when we didn't know uh, whether or not we would receive the blood that uh, Angie needed to, to survive. Her, her body had started rejecting regular platelets and uh, she needed uh, tissue specific platelets. So, so there were some mornings uh, we didn't know whether or not uh, she would get the blood she would need and, and sometimes they didn't arrive until uh, later that night. Fortunately, the leukemia uh, was too aggressive. And uh, even though she had many units of blood and, and the best care possible, we, uh, she couldn't survive. We were devastated and heartbroken uh, when, when Angie passed, but both of us felt the need to make something positive uh, come, come out of uh, her, her passing. Uh, so we thought about it for a while and because of all the blood products that she needed, uh, we, we felt what better way uh, to, uh, to, to, to do that than to uh, start blood drives in Angie's, in Angie's memory. We also wanted to kind of live on her legacy. She wanted to be a teacher. So we thought if we could help inform the public and the students the importance of donating blood, this would help uh, keep her legacy alive. So we contacted Miller Keystone uh, to see about uh, creating a, a blood drive in Angie's uh, memory. Uh, and they suggested that we contact uh, Dan Daniel Boone since they worked with high schools uh, to uh, have blood drives. Uh, we had our first blood drive just three months after Angie's passing. And at that time, we had 150 of Angie's friends and family and the community come out and donate for Angie. Uh, and uh, that was the largest blood drive at a high school uh, in that particular time. Uh, the blood drive uh, two years later really expanded when uh, the Daniel Boone Youth uh, Education Association, DBYEA, got involved. Uh, we set records year after year uh, to the point where we had almost 500 donors uh, in, on the 10th anniversary uh, of, of the blood drive. <clears throat> we can't tell you how proud we are of everyone who's helped us do this. Uh, it amazes us each year that uh, you students participate and get so excited about doing something so positive. Uh, it really warms our heart and makes us proud of you. It, it amazes us that this, this drive has gone on for so long. Uh, none of you that are listening to this video right now, except for the faculty, uh, were even alive uh, when, uh, when we lost Angie. And, and so we are so proud of, uh, of our uh, high school and, and how you have uh, uh, dedicated the time to uh, to uh, make these blood drives uh, successful. <clears throat> for uh, for you, the students and everyone who participates, it's it's about giving the gift of life. And for us, it's, uh, you know, helping to keep Angie's memory alive. So we, we're grateful for that. We've collected, and I don't know the exact number, but I know it's well over 5,000 units of blood uh, over the 20 years that uh, we, we've held these drives, which, uh, which means, uh, you know, you've, you've helped save, save the lives of over 15,000 15, uh, people, and that, that's just amazing. <clears throat> we would like to ask all of you to please uh, consider signing up to donate this year. And uh, 
even better, ask your parents and family to come also during the adult portion of the blood drive. So in closing, we'd just like to, to, uh, to thank uh, uh, Mrs. Susan Fulmer uh, for organizing this and all the students of, uh, of the DBYEA who make it so successful uh, every year. They're, they're the ones that do uh, the hard work to, to, to continue to make this drive a success. So please support your fellow students, support us, and support the community by donating blood on December 19th. Thank you. Thank you. And Look forward to seeing you on the 19th. I know that it seems like it's probably a little scary um, and a little bit different because you probably don't get poked and prodded with needles on the regular. And having spoken to students who have had, you know, in previous years, it's hard for them to kind of get past that. But the time, it takes two seconds to put the needle into your vein and then you literally just sit there and wait. Um, so it's not as scary as it's kind of made out to me. And I know that that's like something that people really struggle with, um, but it's short. And the impact that you can have on someone's life is, is um, unprecedented. You know, you can't put an amount of time or even just like the two seconds of like discomfort that you have on someone being able to continue to live their life every day.